They can grow up to 16 meters long, weigh more than 36 tons, and travel more than 12,000 kilometers a year. That's right, we're talking about the majestic humpback whale. Hi, my name is Olaf from Griffiths University and I'm going to give the whales a health check today using this. Around 22,000 humpback whales leave the icy waters of Antarctica and migrate up the Australian east coast every single year. The humpback highway gets pretty busy nowadays, but it wasn't always like this. Over 40,000 humpbacks used to migrate to Queensland warm waters. But due to years of commercial whaling, that number was slashed to just 500. Since whaling stopped in 1979, the numbers have steadily increased. This increase and the changes of temperatures, as well as depletion of quill stocks, means that the humpback whales are more susceptible to infections than ever before. And the answer how these guys are fighting off bacteria and viruses lies in their whales not. It may sound gross, but the DNA found in whale mucus can tell us a lot more about the mammal's well-being than our visual observations. But getting the whale snot, well, that's the tricky part. Which is why we have started using UAVs to capture the whale snot, and they don't even notice that they're there. When a whale comes to breathe, they expel this mucus through their blowhole. Humpback whales typically come up every three to four minutes. The drone hovers 10 meters above the whale's blowhole and captures the sample in a petri dish attached to the underside of the drone. The timing and the placement of the drone is very crucial. Yes! Oh, I could have collected something! Yeah. I know, we actually do have a set! <laughs> now where we have the sample, it's time to head over to the lab to see how the marine mammal is doing. Just like us humans, whales can often appear completely healthy on the outside, but be fighting a nasty virus on the inside. But the snot can't lie. From the DNA in this mucus sample, we can find out everything about the whale's health. Here in the lab, we're able to measure hormones, such as testosterone to determine their sex, and progesterone to find out if they're pregnant. We can even analyze the mucus for specific bacterial strains, such as Streptococcus. This year, we are teaming up with a local hospital to test the mucus against even more bacterial strains to get an even better idea of the whale's respiratory health. The monitoring program is now in its sixth year, and by combining the detailed observations we take out there, with these mucus analysis in here, we can keep our gentle giants around for centuries, and that's not a problem. 